For this project, we created a, a low-cost, vision-based tracking drone. So, so what exactly does that mean? That's a, a, it's a drone uh, that will fly itself autonomously and can follow an object using a, a vision-based tracking algorithm that we coded in Python. I'm Emmanuel, and my part for this project was to design the supervisory control. For this, I designed a state machine and a graphical user interface. The graphical user interface allows the user to select the different modes of operations and the object that they want to track. So my part of the project was the vision tracking algorithm itself. It finds the object that you selected. It can then determine at, with each subsequent frame where the object is. Our specific tracking algorithm is an HSV based tracking algorithm. It, it uses a different color space than we're used to seeing. It's a hue, saturation, and value, which is, it's a very prevalent type color space in applications such as vision tracking and computer vision. So writing the PID loop itself wasn't really the difficult part of the project. It, it's something that's very common in control systems. The real difficulty came when we had to adjust the PID constants, made room for a lot of trial and error. My responsibility on the project was to take the actions that we decided that the drone should make and translate them into usable commands that the drone could understand. We connected the Raspberry Pi via a serial connection to the PixHawk microcontroller inside of our 3DR drone. It was really a challenge to get the drone flying autonomously um, and to be able to figure it out before all the deadlines that we needed to hit was truly rewarding. It seems easier to do than it actually is. Image tracking has been done before, autonomous drones have been done before, but when you actually put them together, it's a whole different animal. You start to run into a lot of problems. And the, the hardest part is actually the testing. We're used to just compiling a project and running it to test and debug. With this, we couldn't really just take it and test it without, you know, knowing that it would work. The first one that comes to mind would be a military application where we can send in just a very low cost, very disposable drone to collect information without risking too much funding, without risking losing expensive equipment. And that's something that carries really well over to the consumer space where someone who, for example, might be filming and could use our technologies to kind of get the shots that they really want but they can't get otherwise. 